I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And here it is, another week has rolled by. They go by so rapidly. And uh, that's just a little picture snapshot of life. It's just like a vapor. It moves along so quickly. And then we're going to come to the end of that life. And, and those who know the Lord, those who trust Jesus, are going to go enter into heaven forever and ever. So we have such a wonderful future. And we want everybody to be with us in heaven. So that's why we're preaching and teaching and singing in every way we know. So you'll come to Jesus and come to heaven. Well, we're reading from uh, John's Gospel, chapter 13. And we're starting with the 36th verse. And then we'll cross over and uh, do the first six verses of chapter 14. So if you have your Bibles, John chapter 13, verse 36. And Simon Peter is talking to the Lord here. And he says, Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus has told him now he's going to be leaving. And he's going to ascend to the Father in heaven. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I'll lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Then chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. He's talking to Peter and he's talking to the disciples. He's talking to all of us now. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father, father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And uh, Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether go where thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your wonderful messages. The, on the, all in the New Testament, so many teachings you've given us. But I don't guess, Lord, there's much anything more beautiful than this, this passage here. And especially where you say that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You are the way to heaven. You are the way to God. You are the way to happiness. You are the way to forgiveness. You are the way that we can walk, that when we walk in the light as he is in the light, and we have fellowship with you. You are the way. You are the truth. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for your Son, Jesus. And we just pray so hard today that people everywhere will trust him and love him. There may be somebody, Lord, that's watching us right now, and they don't know you. Maybe there's somebody in a little house, Lord, can't afford a television. they got a shortwave radio, and they're listening. They're listening to see what is this message going to be? What is this thing that is all of this hope? And we can tell them about the dear Lord Jesus. And though we don't know where these people are, where they live, or a thing about them, you know everything about them. You even know the number of the hairs they have on their head. And you bottle their tears, and you know everything about them. And you love them, and you died for them. And if they call on your name, if they just say, Dear Jesus, come into my heart, please, and take away my sin. And I'll forsake my sin the best I can. I'll make you the Lord of my life, and I'll live for you the best I can. If, you, if they just pray that in their own words, Lord, you'll enter their heart and life, and they'll be your child forever and ever. So, dear Heavenly Father, this is your day and this is your service. And just use it to honor your, to honor your Son and advance your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.